Ain't no JC Penney's today. I'm going to Bloomingdale's. Maybe Dillard's. I'm feeling rich. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Welcome back to another edition of Wiggy Wednesday. Yes, I'm so excited about today's video because I am bringing you a new unit by Janet Collection, courtesy of EbonyLine.com. I'm also going to be showing you this unit in two colors if you did not realize by my thumbnail already. But before we get into all the excitement and what I think about this unit straight out the pack, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, so like I said, this unit was sent to me by Ebony Line. It is by Janet Collection. It is a unit classy. This is what her car looks like. I got her in two different colors, but the color I'm going to be talking about first is sugar brown. And this unit retails for $33.95. So still within that affordable price point for synthetic wigs. This unit comes with soft brown lace from ear to ear, as well as a six inch deep middle part. It also comes with two combs in the front, one comb in the back and the adjustable straps. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, this unit is big head friendly. It's fitting very, very comfortably on my head. Now I did go in and unhook the adjustable straps because I was not really sure of how it was going to fit on my head before I put it on. So I did unhook those and I must say it still fits amazing on my head. At 23 inches, this joint is coming down perfectly on my hairline on both sides. Okay? Both sides. And I got a little room to tuck it if I want to. So my Gina Gina girls, 23 inches, you good to go. Even Maybe even bigger because the back of this cap is ventilated so it does stretch out. So you should be good to go even if you do not have your hair cornrowed under your unit like I do. I am wearing my wig grip under this unit and it's still fitting perfectly. The texture of this unit is a heat resistant fiber so it is heat safe up to about 360 degrees however the unit already comes in like a type of I would say this is like a wand curl almost like a beach wand curl type of look which I think is just gorgeous. The put down for this unit was very very simple. I would literally call it a plop and go. I did go in and put some powder in the powdering space of this unit because I wanted to make sure that it blended down to my skin tone however the lace of this unit as you see right here pretty much matches my skin tone to a T. I just need to lighten it up a little bit because you know you want to you want the scalp to stand out. The unit does come with some baby hairs around the hairline so if you want to use those you can. You do not have to. I did use a teensy little bit up here in the front. Not really though because I didn't really want you know crazy baby hairs. I didn't feel like this unit needed it because this unit is pretty much a staple on its own. Let me show you guys what it looks like from the side really quick. Okay so that's how it's looking from the side. Let me put all the hair back. Let me put all the hair back. So that's how it's looking from the side and then to the back, this is how she is looking, okay? And she is pretty long on me. She comes down pretty much towards the end of my back. So that is pretty long on me. I'm 5'6", so I would say that is definitely about a 24, 26 inches in the back. And then towards the front, she comes down about, I would say that's a good like 22 inches on me towards the front. She is fairly long, however, I will say Janet Collection has some of the most like softest hair I have ever felt in a synthetic wig. Like seriously, their hair textures are on par with no one. I love Janet Collection, especially for their hair textures. It feels like a really, really soft, yakky texture, y'all. I'm getting some snags at the end, but if you guys can see, I can still pull them through with my fingers. The ends of the hair does not get all like ratty looking. Now you do see some flyaways in there, so definitely go in with some mousse or something like that to control those. The density of this unit is on a thinner side, okay? So when you took it, when I took it out the pack, um, the curls were a little bit tighter, so I did go in and brush these out. I would say this is like a 130 to a 150 um, percent density. So when you brush the hair out, it does give it a more, you know, fuller look. If you don't wanna brush your unit out, you don't have to, but I feel like it gives it a more um, natural look when you do brush certain units. Uh-oh, my hair got caught under my nail. God dang it. And look at that, didn't rip it or nothing. Um, but I do feel like when you brush the unit out, it gives it a more natural look. And this is part of the Color Me collection, so let me turn that light down so you guys can see. Um, but this unit does come in some different colors, as you can see right here. This color just sets it off. I cannot hype this unit up enough, you guys. This unit, in my opinion, is gorgeous, okay? Is gorgeous, and in that $30 price point, 
Listen, sweetie, sugar brown, sugar brown, sugar, sugar now. Yes, yeah, sugar brown is legit. Woo! I'm so hype about this unit because this, where was I? When did they release, when did they release this? Where, where was I y'all? Where was I? Why didn't nobody tell me? It feels a lot more expensive than what it is. The holidays are here. The holidays are here. I'm giving you some options, okay? Auntie about to be pissed at that table. <laughs> She gonna tell you real quick, who you think you is? Where you going? <laughs> Somewhere you are not on Chucky. <laughs> yes. But hold up, hold up real quick. I'm not done. I'm gonna show you guys another color really quick and then you're gonna tell me which color you like the best because I'm really feeling this one right here. So I don't know how the other one's gonna top it. L let's find out, let's find out. Okay, so this is how the next one is looking. We have a little blonde action going on, okay? So this is the color FF Blonde slash Honey Blonde. So same stock card as the last one, just a different color, obviously. And this is how she is looking. So it does come with that face frame and highlight, which is blonde here in the front. And then the rest of the wig is that Honey Blonde color, which you see right here. It does come with a dark root, which is like that 1B color, um, which I feel like, mm, I feel like it could have done, I feel like I think I would have liked it better if it was like a brown, maybe? If it was more like a number two or number four or something. But I think this one is still really pretty. Now I will tell you, it took a little bit more time to put this one on because I did shift the part. So I had to make sure it was blended down how I wanted it to. Um, as you can see, it's a still a little wonky, it's a little curved, but that's just, you know, I could pull the unit a little bit further to the side to make it look straighter. So, you know, be mindful of that. Did go on with my free spray to spray back the flyaway just a little bit, as well as use my Nairobi um, setting lotion on top of the unit to lay down the, fl the flyaways up here. And I went with my hot comb to flatten that out. That is all optional, you do not have to do that. That's just how I like to wear my wigs to make them look a little bit more pleasurable to the eye for me. Now the hair texture for this one feels the same, however, I did get more tangling and shedding in this color than I did in the sugar brown color. That's the shedding in the brush and it's more so that blonde hair. So I'm realizing the more processed the hair is for the color um, in synthetic units is the more shedding you will get. Let me show you guys what it looks like from the side with all the hair down. So this is what that color looks like from the side and then to the back. So still very, very pretty. It falls just the same as the other one, so it's pretty long on me, I'm 5'6". I didn't mention it in the first one, but you can pull these units up into a ponytail. I saw some short pieces back here somewhere. Just bring some of the hair down here to kind of you know, camouflage that. Y'all see how flat that is? Look at that. Okay, Janet Collection, thank you. Thank you for the flat back, okay? <laughs> like, what should we name her? Like, I know she named Classy, but you know, like Classy Connie. Connie, that's what, that's what we're gonna name her. Connie is ready with her checkbook that her sugar daddy gave her, yes. <laughs> Unlimited shopping spree, hello, cha-ching. Ain't no JC Penney's today, I'm going to Bloomingdale's, maybe Dillard's, I'm feeling rich. <laughs> Like what color would you guys choose? I definitely am a team sugar brown over here. That is my fave color. I think that's really, really gorgeous. This one is still pretty though. So anyone can rock this one as well. Of course, <laughs> if I can rock it, you can rock it, okay? Let me know down below which one you'll be rocking at Thanksgiving, you know, to piss off your Aunt Chucky, okay? Cause she gonna be pissed regardless looking like this. Okay, you about to slay. But thank you guys so much for checking this video out. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Don't forget to smash that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos coming up in the future. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.